Hello and welcome, and we're going to be looking at a little project I worked on for my Honda Civic. So I decided I wanted to look into using a Raspberry Pi, as you can see there. Uh, I used a Model B, not the B+, 3B. Um, and I actually, I installed OpenGApps on it, and I decided I was going to use it as a heads-up unit for my car, and just put Android on it. So as you can see, I threw it into a double DIN unit with a 7-inch touchscreen, and then I wrapped it with some carbon fiber, and you can see my wiring there. Not the cleanest, but it worked. Um, but there were a few issues that I'll go over, and uh, how I figured the whole thing out. So, after it was all done, it actually looked pretty nice, and it was hard to find an operating system that actually worked on the Pi, but I chose Interia. It's like a hardware solution for like industry, but it worked pretty well, and using Ubuntu, it wasn't too hard to install. However, it does cost money. I think it costs like 20 bucks for a license that lasts forever, so not too bad. Um, and then you can see here, I decided for GPS, I didn't want to buy a GPS module since that would be expensive, and instead I used an app called Deja Vu to steal the location from my phone. And then after that, I realized I'd need an actual amp because it doesn't have an amp built in so that I could actually power my car speakers off of it. But that was fine. Um, and then I had to rip everything out of my car, and now we're actually going to be heading into video zone. So, now I'll actually explain to you what I'm doing. So this plastic din, I've put a hole into it, I'm going to clean it up later, but that uh, makes it so that we can get this USB cable and we can tuck it through that, which is going to be kind of challenging, but I'm sure I can do it given enough time and smaller hands. However, basically that's going to leave this end of it, a female end, on the inside which means that if I ever need to like plug a mouse or something into this because the touchscreen stops working, I don't have to rip it all out. I can just go through the uh, cable. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, so this Alpine unit here is actually pretty damn small, my amplifier, so I can actually fit it back here uh, behind where the normal radio would have been because the Raspberry Pi is so absolutely tiny, it's going to basically fit within this area here it's not even going to go back into here. I'll also be able to fit the uh, battery I'm using back there. There, there. There's a lot of space. Um, why am I using a battery? I'm sure that's going to be a pretty common question. Pretty simple. When the car uh, turned on, it's going to power the battery and charge it. And then when the car's off, the unit's still going to have power because then I don't have to worry about this thing rebooting constantly because it takes a few minutes to reboot and I don't want to deal with that. So, together, this battery, uh, gonna use this fan to keep the pine stuff cool, don't know where I'm gonna fit it, but time to wire things on. Uh, wire tie, wire tie things on because you know what? Nothing's done without a few good wire ties. Okay, it didn't explode. My splice is working to the beautiful red wire. Yes, not the yellow one because we don't want this to kill my car battery. So this is now going to have to be wire tied in there somehow. There's no real mount points, but uh, I'll figure something out. And I'm going to get that secured a little bit more strongly, but things are looking good. My original plan is looking pretty, pretty uh, plausible now. Yay. Okay, so we've got the fan in, and it can like flip down so we can access stuff as well, which is kind of neat. Um, oh, that broke, that broke the wire tie, that's sad. So I, I guess we're gonna have to redo that wire tie then. But overall, looking good. It should light up blue, which may give like a cool, like blue glow to the edges of this, but probably not. Probably not bright enough for that. Okay, there we go. Fan working. It's actually a nice breeze. Um, and that's gonna keep everything pretty cool. So, with the battery charging, the fan working, we just have to install the front panel. This is the exciting part. Oh man. Okay, here we are. It is working it's optimizing the operating system i've got my 
female USB here that I can plug a mouse or something into if it ever has an issue. My AC and stuff is all working. Carbon fiber looks pretty neat. Now let's see if I can actually get it to respond at all. It may be kind of stubborn while it's doing this. I may have to wait. But once that's all set, it should be pretty smooth going. Um, as I said before, there's a big fan behind it, which I can actually, uh, well, before you saw it, it pushes quite a bit of air, so hopefully the system doesn't overheat in the sun, but I guess this is really where it goes from here, is seeing how it functions. Um, I'm missing a screw in my uh, car there, but I will uh, screw that back in. I've got stuff all over the place. But, we'll see how it works when it's all done, uh, optimizing itself. Wow, that was exciting. Worst part, fitting all the cables and stuff behind there without getting them jammed in the fan. Um, but I seem to have succeeded, uh, hopefully. Unless something goes horribly wrong from here. Something actually did go horribly wrong from there. I accidentally killed my car battery, so I had to uh, jump it and Actually, before then, I thought that I had blown a fuse, so I ended up looking through every fuse in the car, except it wasn't actually that, but then I ended up accidentally swapping a fuse into a slot that it wasn't supposed to be in. So then I lost uh, transmission control, and the car could only go 10 miles per hour. But I fixed that, and then it worked. But I decided Raspberry Pis just aren't supposed to run Android, and it was way too slow for me, so I ended up going with an Atoto head unit, but I learned a lot from this project, and I proved that it is actually possible to use a Raspberry Pi. It's just, you're not able to do much with it. Like, unless you buy a bunch of modules to put onto it, like a 4G module and a GPS module and everything, it's just, you're gonna be better off just buying a pre-made head unit, whether that's an expensive Pioneer or just a simple Chinese unit, which is what I'm going with. And I also redid my uh, carbon fiber wrap and stuff because it wasn't very clean the first time around. And maybe I'll show you that uh, head unit in a while. But thank you guys for watching. So just wanted to show you guys my little project. Um, thought you might find it interesting that it is actually possible. In the background, you can see me checking the fuses and stuff, which is pretty exciting.